I'll be right back. I told y'all them girls is not gonna give me no damn wrinkles. Oh, yes, ma'am! We got to get into some things. Let's go get them. Hey, Ebra, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am good. I just, uh, let me say first, you are <laughs> queen, queen. Uh, so let's, I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. I'm Amber Frickett. I was the Alabama State University captain in 2017, and I danced from 2014 to 2000, spring 2018. Okay. So what high school did you start out with? Um, I went to Mount Zion High School where I was a dance major because we was a performing arts school intertwined with a regular high school. Okay. Okay. So how was it transitioning from being at Mount Zion to being a sting at? What was the process like? Um, our coach in high school, she was very conservative. So like we never wore anything with the belly out, mm -hmm. like no cleavage. We don't have like a little bag with some straps, but it was a really big step knowing that I was going to be in bra and panties on right. and more have to be more seductive, even though we did do like counts from Alabama State and like some other schools. But it was still just like, it was a culture shock almost because like you got to be more feminine when you step into a college right. team. And that was, that wasn't that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you want to be a sting at? other schools I wanted to go to Howard not to dance but I did want to go to Howard I did want to go to North Carolina a and I did want to go to Southern I did want to go to Alabama State University and so when Asia went I was like okay she went she could do it or maybe I could do it you know what I'm saying and I was like I'm not driving all the way five hours to, to Southern and back home I can't get home fast enough right. um, North Carolina North Carolina a and I couldn't swirl the flag so I was like <laughs> I need to work for and oh, I did look at Jackson State too, but I knew I couldn't dance like that. Like, I just, I think you could have did it. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it, and I'm gonna send you a video, and we're gonna see how that goes. Yes, I gotta see it. <laughs> yes, I gotta I'll see it. I probably would have looked a fool, but like it was. <laughs> I think Alabama State University was the best um, option for me because it would have been an easier transition, um, closer to home. Um, I wanted to be a dance major originally, but um, I scratched that out. You know, so I said I need to go. You know, do something else. So. That's how I kind of got geared towards there. Then I went to a, um, you know, campus tour, and mm. I was like, okay, it's not bad. So I was like, I can do it. I'll, I'll go. And I, <laughs> my parents never went to college, so I like, I was kind of so like, so you, our first year. Yeah. Okay. 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 So yeah. what's the audition process for this thing is? Um, it seems like every year is kind of different. The first year we were like in our choir room, and like we would just meet there. Asia was the one my freshman year. Asia was the one who taught everything because she already knew she was captain. Um, it was like three days of like just, like it's almost like they're interrogating you because you're watching other people learn and you're watching them like sometimes be better than you or, you know, you be better than them. And you're thinking like, I don't know how I'm going to make this team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So um, it was just a lot of like drilling the routine to you. You just doing like across the floors. But they never taught you what you were going to learn during the um, tryout. So, um, but then our second year when Asia came back and did it, it was kind of the same thing because, you know, she was teaching. So the teacher always had their kind of set thing that they always do. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty similar. But then when we went to the second year, I mean, the third year, I think uh, Courtney Scott was the one who taught that one. And we were in a bigger space. We had more girls. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just crazy. And then Silva taught my year. And that year, I was already like, why am I auditioning? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, I don't even know if I can come back. And they got me out here auditioning. Right. So I, was, I always stayed to the back during those audition processes because I, mean, I didn't even want to put myself up front. Because I feel like in an audition, you don't have to stand in the front to be the best or to, right. to outside. Like, you should be able to lure somebody's eyes to the back. And they'd be like, okay, she back there killing it. You right. know what I'm saying? But I don't even know if I answered your question. But try it's, okay. it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. The tryout process is just like it's very intense, and it's just something that you just, that you just gotta go in, never know what's gonna happen. Like this year, I don't know what's going on. I don't yeah. know what this auxiliary camp is, but 
it's, it's going to change every year. You got to be ready for whatever's going to come after. Come That's after. true. That's definitely yeah. true. So what's thing at line um, made you want to audition for to be a thing at? Um, I think my first year was watching them for real was Romissa's year. Mm-hmm. And then I started kind of following. I, and I was kind of seeing like the trend of things. And then like you look at how each captain come and they bring something different. Right. And I think Kiki's year was the first year I actually watched from like start to finish. Mm-hmm. And that was because I think that was the year prior to me auditioning. So yeah. I wanted to see like what, what was going on. Yeah. And I'm like, and I think the Southern versus Alabama State game that 2013 year was like it for me. I'm yeah. like, the uniform is glowing. Like yeah. they're glowing. Like you can hear, feel the intensity from watching it. And I was like, okay, like I want to be out there. Like I want to be able to do that. Yeah. So I think that's what really like got me like, okay, you got to go audition. Okay. I, now, cause that, that game was, I love that game. Yeah. That game like, was T. You didn't have to be there. Like, like you, you knew what was going exactly. on. Like just watching it. So like, how was it? crabbing under the legendary Asia Martin. <sighs> that was hard to say in <laughs> life. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. <laughs> like, her and Miss Williams were very set on what they wanted for the year. Like, yeah. you couldn't come no less than that. Yeah. So, like, practices were always intense. Like, you just did you just had to come ready for whatever Asian wanted to do that day. Whatever Miss Williams was going to walk through the door with. Like, the band was, tr- like, it was just, we were doing a show that year. So, mm-hmm. everything was just, like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the TV show was in there. I mean, it, it was just funny. How, like, How was that, like, having the TV, sh- you being on TV and you having to learn all of these counts and field shows? And it's So, they, I don't, they wasn't there doing preacher. They didn't show up until, like, maybe like before the first game or so Mm -hmm. so once they started showing up it was like we had to do certain things for the camera yeah and like at the same time we're also still trying to practice and don't mess up in front of the camera it just got worse you know what i'm saying because it's like we we went over this before so it was a lot like i want to say sometimes we didn't get to practice how we should have practiced because they were in there and because they needed certain stuff they pulling out my crap sisters to go talk to the camera like why didn't want to talk to me right like (laughs) i have a storyline this year you know what i'm saying but you know it was just it was all over the place but in that i feel like on the games we got everything done that we needed to get done yeah like i feel like proof was out there yeah so considering that you know you and asia went to the exact same school how was it dancing with her on a collegiate level versus high school? Um, I feel like initially everybody thought it was probably going to be like favoritism or like, oh, they already know each other. So like, that's not fair. She got one up. But I don't think y'all realize me and Asia really didn't like get close until like she was going to graduate because oh, wow. like we were like two years apart for okay. one. For two, um, we, you know, t- our classes or our dance classes were always split because you had higher level on it. So we really never really just had to interact with each other until like you know school's about to end you ain't got nothing to do right you know we was talking she was like this should have been friends a long time i said yeah we should have <laughs> but no, whatever but um when we got to college she was still of course hi- um higher level than me um and she had a job to do at the end of the day so right. she wasn't finna be like treating me like this but she always used to tell me i used to dance like i was in high school and they just made me so mad because i'm like you don't realize i'm trying you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah so um it wasn't easy it was not easy at all I feel like I had a lot more to prove. Yeah. But I think you have to realize when you're coming into a new style, it's not going to just be easy. I already was struggling in high school, so how am I going to try to come to college? Exactly. You know, so it was a learning thing, and I had it for two years, so, like, it was that again. Yeah. But, you know, I was like, yeah. (laughs) At least least you learned something out of it. It takes time. I mean, I'm not a fast learner. Yeah. I'm really slow. (laughs) (laughs) So... What is something that Asia taught you as a stingette that stuck with you throughout your years as a stingette? Um, Asia was one of those people to where she was kind of always to herself. And I think that's what I like because at the end of the day, like nothing around her could phase what she had to do when she walked into practice and what she had to teach us. Like she didn't care if we like her that day. She was still gonna do what she had to do, and then she, you gonna like you gonna like me after we get right. out of here. So I, I kind of that kind of stuck with me because at the end of the day, like nobody knows what you're really feeling. Nobody knows what you went through before you walked through the door. You right. know what I'm saying? You have to like brush all that off to go in here and do your job. Me, 
I was going mad about what I came from, right? <laughs> but I, you know, I had to check myself because I'm like, you can't, you know, you have people who need you right. and you have to be there for them. So I think that's what something about her that always stuck with me. Like, no matter what's going on, like, she will get her job done. Yeah. Like, no matter what. So, okay. so coming into 2014, what is something um, that was challenging for you? So, um, the ASU thing at page had posted this video of me, um, when I was doing my, it was a jury piece I had, no, it was actually a piece I did when I went to the thing at camp. I took that little piece with me, and but I had recorded it at school. So I, they reposted it and it was like, oh yeah, Georgia girl's coming for me. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, that's me. Like, dang, now I got to go in here and do what I did there, here. And Asia was a lefty, so she was doing everything on the left. I'm like, oh my God, I'm a righty. I, God, I right. can't move left. Like, I got to go right. right. So I knew that was going to be my challenge. I knew I had to reverse everything and like start working on my left side. Then I knew everybody was looking at me to be the best. But then when I step in there, I see Barry. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want me to be? I couldn't even roll through the middle split. I said, I'm going right through the right. And you can't go tell me nothing. Like, I'm just going to fake it. But I knew at the end of the day, no matter what people thought of me, I knew I had more competition out there. So right. I, knew I had to come like 30 times harder because you already got a spotlight on me. But then you're not looking at these other girls who are stepping in. There's always wild factors, people you never knew that was trying out. People that come out of the woodwork, you never know. So, like, I was already like, I'm about to just. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were all looking at Barry. Like, all my parents would tell you, would be like, we were looking at Barry like, who's this girl? That girl. She's that girl. I, yeah. She's a little like, <laughs> so, like, to you, what does it mean to be a sensational stingette? Um, I think it's, it's, let's see. I feel like it's more so like you being in touch with yourself. Yeah. Because if you notice everything we do is very feminine. You got to touch yourself. You got to love yourself. You got to make love to the song. Almost. Yes. Like you just have to like get in that groove and like to be sensational is to be one with yourself. Yeah. Um, you have to have that confidence within you to even go out there and do something I taught you like two days ago. Like you have to be able to just, it's all within you at the end of the day. No matter what team you go to, it's all within you. Like, nobody can teach you how to be you. Right. But exactly. And to be, sensa- a, be a sensational singer, it's just, and it's just something, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> a lifetime changing thing because you built so much confidence, even if somebody had to teach, like, somebody had to help you build it, mm-hmm. or you came in with it, or it was just things that you had to go through throughout your seasons to really be like, I'm that girl. Right. So if you walk the, walk the halls and go to the calf, everybody looking at you like who you think you are. Right. Because that's what you exemplify. So I think that's what that means. Okay. So who inspired you to be a thing that you are, to, well, that you were then? But you still think it regardless. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is going to sound really bad. Like, I, I think I'm like a, I'm a real realistic person. Like, I don't like, I don't know, but. I really didn't have nobody who just kind of like my captain year. Nobody was like, nobody really called to talk to me to help me. Ms. Williams was the only one in my ear yeah. telling me, e- e- uh, you know, like right. just, you know, like trying to amp me up because like, you know, Asia was on a cruise and like my big sister was Silva. I think Silva was like dancing um, in Miami, you know, mm-hmm. just a lot of stuff going on. So I had to do a lot of stuff on my own. Yeah. And that's kind of how I always was. I always was like, kind of like my own motivation for the most part. So like, no, nobody really motivated me and inspired me, but I do pick up on things from everybody. Like I know what I want to do and what I not, what I don't want to do compared to what I saw you do. Right. Like, I'm just a real like person who looks at everything. So at the end of the day, like nobody, like one person inspired me, but a lot of people has helped me build myself to yeah. who I am. Yeah. So <clears throat> did, when you came in, did you ever think that you would be a, a stingate captain? No, because I wasn't super confident in my ability as a stingette. Mm-hmm. Like, it took me a long time. I don't know if you ever watched the videos, but I watched myself in 2014, and I couldn't even, like, relax my fingers to oh, the, like, yeah. attention. Like, I'm like, why <laughs> like, five games to get it together? Like, why has nobody told you that your hand looks like, you know, the Nazis? Like, <laughs> we're crazy. So, like, I knew it took me a long time to pick it up, and I have, like, a um, crab sister, like, Talia, who already oh, yeah. looked like a grown woman, like, fluidity like she had everything that she needed to be to like yeah. go ahead and like soar and be a captain so i'm like god like, <laughs> it's taken me a long time to like really grasp where i need to be as a stingette so no i never thought like 
especially my first and second year, I definitely didn't think that was for me. Yeah. Like, I mean, if it was offered to me, I would take it and I would just do my leadership part that I know how to do. But dancing wise, like, I know I'm not the absolute best dancer out there, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Right. I'm my best dancer. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, no, I never, no. Okay. Not. <clears throat> so, when, when you got the position, like, what was your emotion? So tryout the tryout year we actually had like we actually filmed that too. Yeah. That never came out. Oh. That was the most <laughs> that all was filmed like from us getting like our meetings mm -hmm. to going through the interview like going through the interview process, going through the tryouts and they had me crying on film Ooh. when I got it. Like I was boohoo crying because I'm like, <laughs> made me try out for one. <laughs> and I didn't know that I was gonna be the last one standing to be captain this year oh, like wow. it was between me Courtney Kanika and Chelsea mm -hmm. and I got it and I was like and I'm not even supposed to be back this year like this is crazy like I was just and I had already you know I've been out pre the previous season for like five games yeah you know? I was out so you know I'm like there's no coming back from this I can only finish my season and go on but like okay. I was able to come back so I was truly blessed to be able to be put in that position because at the end of the day I think they know, they knew what I was capable of, and they knew, like, you know, you go through stuff, you make mistakes, stuff happens, but you can always bounce back from it, and you can still be, like, the best contender for something like this. Right, right. Okay. So, <clears throat> when getting the position, like, did you know exactly how you wanted your team? Because your team was really clean. Thanks. I could tell that was one thing that you really wanted to implement. Um, so when I got it, the very first thing I said, I said, y'all don't play me and y'all won't play y'all selves. Right. So don't get in trouble about some stuff because I will get you. You know right. what I'm saying? So I was real big on discipline because I wasn't going to be late for one. Um, we wasn't going to get fussed for nothing. Like we was going to be on our P's and Q's from day, from day one to the end because mm -hmm. we were always late. <laughs> no uniforms ever made. Like, we were always behind. And that year, I, I'm not going for it. So, a lot of people ask, why did y'all always got catalog uniforms? Why? Because I didn't want to be late. Right. <laughs> I'd buy my uniform from the store as a sequin, then having to make it from scratch. And then I'm mad because I can't put my uniform on. Exactly. And we got the hard time. You know what I'm saying? So, it was a lot of things because of how I was as a person. Like, all of our uniforms are made based on the the attitude and the personality of your captain. Yeah. So mine were kind of simple. I'm kind of simple. You know what I'm saying? Or mine was just very clear cut. That's just how I am. I need it to be done and then we can go. Um, and then clean cleanliness. Yes, I was very big on that. Like, we got to look like one. I said, I should be able to take a picture and all your arms are in the same spot. Like, exactly. And I'm like, don't go out here and do your own thing because I was like, if you're going, you're going to sit down because that's not what I taught you. Like, just make sure, like, Whatever is taught to you, you follow suit. Like, if I dance soft, I need you to dance soft. Why? Because I'm probably doing it because of what the music is doing. Right. Like, just pay attention. Like, just pay attention. Like, I really wanted, like, one thing I know I wanted to implement was, like, let's say if a song had, like, a slow, smooth entrance, and then, like, mm -hmm. it had, like, picked up out of nowhere. Like, I wanted us to be able to know it, mm -hmm. and then we all do it at the same time. Like, I just, I wanted that, but, like, we didn't really have time for that, but... I was just hoping, like, maybe we saying it, like, the next couple of years, like, somebody would try to do it early in the advance. Yeah. But, like, I just I just had ideas, and I would just do it. Sometimes I would just go to practice confused on what I was going to do. <laughs> but I had good crafts to make sure, you know, good freshmen to make sure, like, we was all one. And upperclassmen, too. I just had a yeah. really great time. You had a really good squad. Y'all were really clean. Yeah. They were they were awesome. Like, my freshmen were awesome. Like, yeah. they they were be well behaved. We got they got in trouble one time for bringing phones to practice. <laughs> <laughs> one of them had like Facebook Facebook messages. Instagram. I said, "Oh, we got Instagram." Facebook. <laughs> okay, I said that's a hundred for every phone I got. I like, know that's right. Like that was that one time. That was the only time. I guess they got slick after that. I was like, "Well, that's good. You slick, but yeah, don't let me catch you." So, what would you say is the hardest part about being captain? Um, my hardest part, I feel like every year is different, but mine was, I had a lot of people who did not think I could do it. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of people who felt like somebody else should have been captain. I had a lot of people who was not going for it. You know what I'm saying? And that was my heart. They were like, dang, you know, like, yeah. give me a chance. Like, you don't even know, like, you don't know nothing. Like, you're just outside looking in, trying to judge. Like, just wait. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If I fail, I just fail. But I think I did my best. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So just let me be. And I think... That kind of broke me down a lot yeah. during that um, season because
because I'm reading it like I read comments. I'm not gonna lie, I read. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, y'all are so wrong. Like y'all are foul. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you you don't know if I cried. Exactly. You don't know how that made me feel. Like you just don't know. So like some things that people say, it's like just you know calm down a little bit because you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Right. You don't know if it was my decision or somebody else's. So you don't know anything. So it was just like. I feel like I had a lot to live up to based on people judging me and me having to step up to the plate. And I got um, a number of freshmen who need me to teach them to be better. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, it was hard because, like, Ms. Williams was really legit in my, in my upperclassmen. But Ms. Williams was always the one, like, having to, like, pick me up if I was down. Like, yeah. I don't know what they talking about. Like, before the Met City game, in my ear. Like, Hyping me up like that was my hype man throughout that's the season. Good. That's probably her, like, especially for a, for a sponsor. Like that's good to have somebody on your corner. Yeah, so she was in my corner the whole season. Like really, my whole four years. But you know, for sure, my captain. That's good. So, yeah. what would you say is the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome? Um, like my whole career, or just um, uh, just as a as a captain. Um. I think it was, like, the bounce backs, like, the setbacks that we might have had throughout the season, and if it was my fault or if it was just something that was happening. I think those were the hardest thing to overcome. Like, um, like okay, this is real small, but, like, crew Magic City Classic, when we messed that whole thing up, yeah. like, I felt like garbage. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I, Oh, wow. God, I was so mad. And then, like, we get to practice the um, following week, and – you know, people are upset about it. And yeah. I'm like, dang, I feel like I failed y'all. But, you know, I, you know, it's happened. So and I'm, I was just, like, really hurt about that for a while. But I had to realize regardless, I can't dwell on something that happened. Yeah. That, you know, because we got to come back harder no matter what. Like, it's just one of those things. You can't let stuff eat at you. Yeah. Because you're never going to be able to progress. You just have to move forward. Like, yeah. you got you have to move forward because if you don't yeah. move forward it's just gonna keep eating you alive this is gonna be a yeah. lot and i'm good for that but I, that's what i learned at least like uh, you can't let that stuff get at you you just yeah. gotta handle it and move on so those are like my biggest obstacles just things that happened throughout the season that i couldn't bounce back from sometimes yeah. so you had so many counts <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my god <laughs> um what gets you into that creative cloud when you're trying to create a count, when you're trying to create a field show? Like, what gets you into that moment? Um, Most of the things I create is when I'm laying in my bed, and I'm just thinking, and I'm like, ooh, that's a good move. You know, like, okay, so then I'll get up and try, and I'll lay back down, and I'll figure out another part. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like, I will sleep on it and then go up, wake up the next day, try everything I had thought of, and it makes sense. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, bet. But I always miss, like, seven, eight. So I'll go to practice. And I go to the bathroom, like, Brandy, come with me. So we in the bathroom, I said, I need a 7 eight. So we just go there. So we in the bathroom doing this. And then most of the time, she'll give me, like, one move. I'm like, bet. And I come up with the eight. Like, I just sometimes be needing people to, like, give me, like, a jump start. Right. And I'll get finished. Field shows, like, I just would be confused. Because, like, it just some of they were coming so fast. Yeah. Like, you a out lot of stuff. them. And I'm like, and I feel like all my song choices were awful. Yeah. Like, um, me too. Like, I couldn't even, like, what? Like, it wasn't like something that you can like grew to mm -hmm. um the best song i think we had was um honda and my first field show that silver had did from yeah. the um, tryouts those are my only two like really upbeat songs that you could take a field show to so i just really struggled with field shows but stands they were always easy like, i probably would come to practice with two stands maybe every other every other week because like, i would always just keep thinking of something and it could just be the most garbage stand but we doing it because yeah. at the end of the day you need something in your um in the in the book just in case you run out. You never right. know. Medicine classic, you always run out of something. Yes. So you want to make sure you just have anything because you never know what song might get played that can go really good to that thing you made up. So right. I'm just you know spitting stuff out. Sometimes I don't know what it was, but so did you make any counts up prior to you getting captain? Yeah. So my freshman year, the one that go like this. Oh yeah, yeah. One. I came back without one after Christmas break. Um, we, was like, we did like a group session, and I think it was me, Lawrence, and I want to thank Charmaine. I cannot remember, but mm -hmm. we did this one. Bop, bop. Oh, yes. I love that. One. We did that one. Um, Tayer, I'm seeing it all a blur, but I know for 
sure those two. Okay. And I can probably tell you it's another one, but I don't remember. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. Everybody wants to know this. Okay. Is the big better have my money count yours? No. Oh. <laughs> this one right here? Yes. That's Asia count. Okay. Account. Okay. So everybody's account. like, okay, that's Amber count. No, that's Asia no. count. It's Asia count. It's not mine. I would have never thought. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> that was hot. That's crazy. I would have never thought. Okay, you okay. cleared that up. I like that. Yes. Yeah, that was hers. So, um, what was your favorite count that you made up? Um, I had like a lot of bomb counts. I don't know where it came from. Like it's between this one, the push one. Oh yes. And it's between this one. Yes. And I don't know where they came from, but... Actually, yeah, that's my favorite count. The little jump rope count. Mm, oh, that one. This yes. one. Oh, yeah, I, don't I, even know. I love that count so much. Yeah, I don't know where they came from. Like, And I, when I look back, I'm like, what was I thinking to come up with something that good? Yeah. You were doing it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't even... But a lot of people say they were, like, too intricate. So, like, oh, they were too <laughs> intricate, but... Really, it was so. Most of your counts were so stink at. Like, I loved it. It was very, very stink at for me, in my opinion. So, a lot of people wanted to know, like, what? Why did you want to keep the tradition of a two of two rows? Um, for one, it really don't be my choice. It's based on how many girls you have and how yeah. many rows the band director want to give you. Okay. <laughs> like, so yeah. I can't say I want three rows, and he's like, no. So I'm like, all right. Two. Okay. <laughs> so, but when we went to Jackson State and we had to do three, I think, mm -hmm. and we were so spaced out. Yeah. We were so confused. Like, we never danced that far apart and we never danced with that many roles. So nobody could see. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I can answer this question for people. I'm pretty sure they didn't ask you, but they were um, saying, like, why she didn't do all together? Because they could not see. Yeah. I rock you row by row and everybody get it right. Yeah. And all together, and I got somebody messing up on the end. I was just real big on making sure I did what was best for the team, mm -hmm. even if that makes me waste my music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just kind of one of those per people that I was big on what it looked like mm -hmm. compared to, oh, that was the best. Like, I don't care because if you mess <laughs> up, it ain't the best. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, exactly. it just won't be the best. So, so how did the whole stand routine for crew come about? Okay, so this is great. My freshman, Yasmin, and I think Kina, we gave them that task to do that. Okay. And it was Miss Williams' idea. She was like, we got to come up with this. I'm like, what? You know, so I'm already <laughs> like burnt out. Like, why are we doing this? Right. So I was like, you know what, fine. I'm not doing it. All right, uh, y'all two, y'all, that's y'all task. Y'all do this. Um, Toya and I think somebody else had the task of doing a sit down. Like, I just gave them everything that they need to do for a maxi class. I said, this is all y'all tasks, and I'll, like, fix it at the end. Yeah. So they came with it. I was like, okay, bet. So we're just going to make it like this. You're going to go inside out. Like, I just would delegate how I would go and make it look. But they would just come with me with the foundation. So a lot of the stuff, except, like, um, the stands, but a lot of, the, like, big pieces, they were very helpful when it comes to those things because I will legit be burned out. Like, yeah. I don't even know what to do. So... It was great for them to be able to use that creativity and, you know, contribute to the season to help them better themselves when they decide to return and be the captain and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And get them in that creative groove. Yeah. You know? yeah. So what was your favorite uniform? My favorite uniform. Um, oh, we can talk about uniforms, too. My favorite uniform, I think it had to have been either the circles in my first game. I oh, really yeah. Like the white one? No, I think the, the um, 2010, I think, what is 2010? I think they wore the white. We wore yeah. black. Yeah. Um, I but my favorite uniform was Honda. We had the nude and the oh, yeah. rhinestones. It was just real elegant. And the boss with yes. Chris. Like, we just, no, but see, I liked, I just like the simplicity of um, Medicine Classic with the bomber jacket, too, yeah. though. Yeah, that was, was yeah, that was, it was cute. Just a real grown woman, like it wasn't much to it, but it worked. Yeah, but you know when we walked in too, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just all it worked for every day. Like everything had its purpose. I think yeah. it all just worked. But I really like my favorite favorite um, uniform was 2014 when we wore the one they wore from 2013 with the mm -hmm. gold, and then we had our bobs and it was curled. Yes, it looked good on the lights. 
yeah. when he was in the land shaking. I just, that was just great. Ooh, I love that one. I love that. So, <clears throat> we understand that, you know, when you're, when you're trying to be a captain, you have to turn in the captain's letter. What is the significance behind um, the captain's letter? I don't think there's a big significance. I think it's just making um, the staff recognize that you want to be a part because right. you can have somebody say, I want to be a captain, but don't put in a letter for them to like to say, hey, I really want to be a captain because X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes you, I feel like it's something to make sure you hold your place. Right. Instead of it's just saying, I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's just like a... A letter of okay, I really want to do it, yeah. and I'm gonna have to just go do whatever steps it takes to be captain. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's really yeah. I think it's just in the letter. So, how do you feel that you have you're a captain, and now you have two crab, two of your crabs become captain after you? Um, what is some advice that you also gave them? Um, for Yasmin, I actually had to stay in Montgomery with Yasmin for like. A week or two so after all i did their audition mm -hmm. so their first field show was my audition piece and then um i stayed with her during like her first week of pre-drill mm -hmm. just to you know be there if she had a question because she was coming as a uh, freshman captain yeah. she only did one pre-drill like you know if you need anything i'm coming like i was there and then um so she basically had me physically you yeah. know I was there for her. She would call me throughout the season, like, hey, I don't have nothing for this field show. I'm like, hey, well, what do you have? Like, I'll give her, like, a two, three, and then she come over the rest. Like, you know, you just yeah. need to look a little sometimes. Yeah. Um, and Janae, I was talking to Janae over the summer. Like, I have, like, kind of up and down the road, and I'm not sure she got kind of so you're just not going to tell me. <laughs> like, she was like, I just found out myself. I said, so what you going to do? She's like, I don't know. We don't even have a coordinator. I said, well, you better get a book. You better start writing what you want, what you would buy, everything. You better be captain and coordinator until you get one. Exactly. So, like, I just had her trying to prepare just in case you never know what might happen. Yeah. You know, it just I was trying to get her ready because, you know, it was new. I didn't know we were announcing it that early. You know, there's a lot going on that year, that summer, actually. And I was just wanting to make sure, like, she can start good, like, start mm -hmm. off with a good start. And then, like, struggle on the way and call, you know what I'm saying? But I right. needed you to go off good. You did not have a coordinator. So, like, we talked throughout the season. Um, it was, like, her, her year, I had, like, I kind of, I knew um, Deja prior to, because we did a clinic yeah. earlier that, in, like, May. So, I, I kind of knew her. So, I was kind of, like, they like they would either call me, like, if they needed something. Like, I would call Janae, like, late at night, like, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just kind of trying to make sure, like, she was keeping, you know, her head on straight, because I knew, like, I knew what kind of person Janae was. And I know sometimes she just needs you to call her, even though she don't call you. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. So what is one thing you wish you could have changed um, during your captain year? Um, I always think my performance can be a lot better. Um, sometimes when you think you're really going hard, you look at the videos, you're like, you're not doing anything. Like, I think I wish I would have pushed myself more. I wish I would have, like, practice a lot more i was to the point that my captain year that i was more so like i want to visualize everything i like yeah. i want to see what i put out like i want to see what it look like honestly i didn't want to spot on the field because i want to look at how it looked you know yeah. what i'm saying like i got to that point but like i would still have to go out there so like i wish i wasn't as burned out because i already danced three years you know i was kind of tired i'm like yeah. In. you know what i'm saying yeah. but i wanted to be there at the same time but you know you've done it so long that it's just kind of like it's the same thing sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So I wish I would have just kept the same energy that I had from my freshman year to my sophomore year to Tasia. year. Like, I just wish it would have just kept escalating mm -hmm. rather than slowing down. But, I mean, it's life. You know, sometimes it's time for you to move on, and sometimes it's time for you to find something new. And now I'm at the point where I kind of rather just choreograph. I'd rather just kind of teach and coach right. than actually be a dancer. So right. that's what I wish I would have done. So did you ever doubt yourself um, when you got captain? Of course, of course. Like, I had some, like, I had bomb people behind me, and I'm like, God, they ain't finna outdance me. <laughs> but I always told them, I said, that's okay, outdance me. Yes. Because I'm gonna be gone next year. What are you gonna be? You're gonna be right here. So y'all gotta be bomb. Like, yeah. be better than me. I didn't care. Like, have the camera go to you and not me. That's fine. Yeah. Because it's a team thing. You look good, I look good. I don't care. Yeah. I can say I look bad, but they look good. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was my goal. It wasn't about me that year, it was about them. But I, I doubted myself a lot because if you notice, I wouldn't put myself on the 50 a lot on the field yeah. show. Like, I would make sure if your legs where it need to be, come on. 
Like, toe touches are not for me, but I'm going to put them in there because y'all can do them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was just about them. And I think I doubted myself on that because I should be able to push myself more to be able to be just like them. Exactly. Like, my freshman, my upperclassman, basically was my motivation to be better than me. But I don't know. It's just... It was a hard... And you, still, and you still did what you had to do, and you conquered yeah. it. Yeah. So that's, a, that's really all that matters. That's honestly, so... So, if you could be... If you could have crabbed under any Stingate year, what year would it have been? Oh, uh, that's hard. I think I would have wanted to try... Oof. I think I slipped one and would try Ashley year. Oh, yeah. I sleep one to try Oh yeah, Ashley. yeah. That was a good year. I don't even know how. Like they just had a different look about them. Like it was very grown, and then Alexis was there. Like oh, I'm yeah. gonna be, I'm gonna be beside Alexis. So I can get some. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a, the people that was on that squad. Like they all had something about them. Like and I want to see like would I be able to hang? Like can I fit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like can I do? I'm it? sure you would. I know you would. Really. I, I probably would have been more very more seductive and more into it like staring at the camera like giving all kind of play with the yeah. eyes that year. <laughs> so how did you feel when when you guys went viral for the NCC marching in I was like what because at first I was really lost like where I couldn't find a role like where we were supposed to sit like mm-hmm. they didn't have nothing blocked off for us it just looked like a whole bunch of stairs I was just like oh my god where am I going so I was just looking back and forth like this Miss Williams was nowhere to be found the man was on the field I Beyonce look, the heels. Yeah. Yeah. It was how you did it. And I was just like, okay, girl. But that was the best energy game we probably had. Like, we hadn't had, nobody would come to our game that year. We playing against nobody. Like, we were looking at these seats. That's true. Because you had, what, Kennesaw State and, yeah. Nobody came. It was a very dry season. Yeah. Like, and then I was really upset too about our song selection. I was like, why don't we have fast songs? Like, all I have is like these slow and medium songs. Like, I can't do anything to this. You know what? I I, I paid attention to that too because I'm looking. I was gonna do like um a um the best top ten moments of for Amber, mm-hmm. and I was like, where is the fast music? There's no music. And literally, our first game, the fastest song we probably had was I Want Her, and I did good to that one. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's all we could do. We ain't played it since. Yeah. I was just like, where is I asked the percussion um instructor, I said, Where's the fast music? He's like, You should break that up. I'm like, I shouldn't have to, you should already have it. Exactly. Like, so where is it? Let me ask you this. What song do you feel like the band could have brought back that you really wanted to dance to? I always love Jamaica Funk. I Ooh. always love that song. Like it's just it's just a dope song. Um I'd rather them bring back uh what's that one song that be about ready to die to? I remember we did it at Alcorn in 2014. Is it, is it, I'd rather play Slave to the Rhythm. I'd rather play those. Like, I'd, I'd rather, um, what's that one? You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to think. Because that was 2014. I know what I'm talking about. And it's like, it's super fast. Oh, what you looking at? Yes. Yeah. I, why are you looking at me? I yeah. Would, like, I wanna, <laughs> I like that stuff. I want. I want to get challenged, and yeah. there was no challenge that year. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was so sad. So we played. Oh, go ahead. And um, uh, congratulations the whole year. Like, how many times? Alabama, can look, play Alabama this song? State will play a song out. <laughs> how many times can I dance to this song? Come over and do count with like, Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. But it's okay. So mm-hmm. we often don't see a lot of four years thing yet. What do you think that the administration saw in you that they were they they told you like, hey, we need you back? Um, I think one thing about me that I was very consistent in the person that I was. Like, I was always like on time. I was always there. I was. Me and Miss Williams would always be doing uniforms together. Like, 
I will always be on top of her, like, hey, this is not done yet, so I need you to uh, go go sit in the corner and get that done. Right. It's not bothering us. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I was one of those type of people who was always trying to be on top of things, even if it wasn't my time. So I think that was one thing that they saw. And, I, and of course, I had a great relationship with both Dr. Oliver and Miss Williams, but that's just because of the type of person I am. I'm going to go speak. I'm going to, like, I'm like, okay, so I had, like, got robbed. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I, I got robbed, like, my sophomore or sophomore year and Dr. Oliver was really he got mad at me because he said what are you doing out that late I'm like whoa <laughs> like he he was like one of those people that he, he looked at me as like I was supposed to carry myself a certain way like yeah. he, I think he expected a lot from me so like when I would follow suit of how how he envisioned me to do be but who I was as a person at the same time I think that would really stuck with him because I always carry myself. Like, I would try to stay out all the mess. Mm-hmm. If I went to the club, I would try to be out the videos. Like, yeah. you know, I would try to do what was right a right. lot of the time. And that's only because I don't want to hear this later. Exactly. Not because I'm trying to be a kisser, but who wants to hear this? Like, I gotta, my mom will kill me anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I was, just, I was just one of those type of people. So I think, you know, they watch you from when you first come in until, you know, when you leave. Like, they saw the progression. They saw how I grew. They saw how I came in mature. And this is not saying that nobody else did, but I can only speak on myself. Like, right. I know how I want to scare myself. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? So, I think that's what really stuck. And they just knew that I had the drive to do it. So, yeah. so out of all of your four years, what was your favorite year? Um, my favorite year? I think it just legit has to be my freshman year. Yeah. The band was amazing that year. Like, mm-hmm. if I hear, like, when they play Chicago and Ooh. all that stuff, I'm like, I miss this. Like, I Partition. miss this energy. Like, yep. all, I miss all that energy. Like, it was just so different that year. No matter if I was a freshman or not, it just gave you that feeling of, this is why I'm here. Like, when you yeah. at the game, like, everybody in the crowd, like, yeah, you know, SOS team over there with their little chance. You know, everybody was just lit that year. And it was just great. Like, that's when I started meeting new people. Mm-hmm. All, all ten of us, me and my, me and my sisters, we we was out like we going to the cafe. Get like it was just great because then yeah. I moved out campus after that, so you know it just you know slowed down. But that was a time to to be in the band, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, that was a time. So, <clears throat> what is a goal that you set for your team that you felt like you accomplished as a captain? Um, I was really big on just trying to make sure like. Like I told you, it was really big on discipline. Yeah. And I feel like we definitely surpassed that. And I also was like, y'all need to like each other. Not yeah. saying I was trying to force them, but I said, you need to like something about her. Like, you need to find something that you can do together, something. And I think they did a good job at doing it and hiding when they had their beef outside of it. Yeah. They didn't come in with it. You know, my problem child was Janae, and she would tell you. <laughs> but it was just because Janae had a lot to break down to yeah. really be like, okay, I can do this with y'all, like, and I knew that about her, I already knew when she walked in, I'm like, this, right, this is about to be my, my task, but she just was one of those people that just needed to be, to be included, like, she just wants you to hug her, even though she don't really want you to, like, she just was one of those people, yeah. and I was good, because I learned that about each one of them, like, what they needed, and what they didn't need, and they kind of learned that about each other, even if you don't have to talk now, you know what I'm saying, you don't even have to call her, but you should be able to walk past her, hug her, and be like, have you been good? And then walk off. Like, right. I just need to, to feel something for each other. Like, that's your sister. No matter what you think, that's your sister. Exactly. So I think that would be good with that. Yeah. So we see that you're doing <laughs> such a good job with the jewels. Oh, yeah. What made you want to be a coach for um, Arabia Mountain? Um. So um, their previous coach, Brianna, like, she had asked me to do an um, audition one time. So mm-hmm. I came and did that. And that's how I first met them. That was like 2016. So that's how I kind of get started. Yeah, I committed with them. And then like this previous season, she was like, can you help me? Like, I just need to take a step back, all that stuff. So I came in and helped throughout this whole season. Mm-hmm. And then this year she was like, you know, you can take them. So this next season I will be the coach for them officially. And, um, it, and it's, they were already bomb dancers before yeah. I stepped in. Like, they yeah. were already where they needed to be. They're going to be the best. And you're just waiting for it. They, you're going to see them more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they, that whole group, that whole school, everything about it is just up to par. Yes. Like, definitely. Look, the I way they act, their grades, like, mm-hmm. they carry themselves 
amazing. And it's and that's a good thing to walk into somewhere that's a high school and already have that energy. That's amazing. Like yeah. when you go to college, you're gonna be straight. Cause even because even when they first because I'm from the cab too, so even okay. when they first started, um, they were always good. Like yeah. school was good, everything was good, band was good, just everything was good. They they're gonna be good. You know, you have one graduating this year. Hopefully y'all see her soon. Yes. Um, then we're gonna have like two. They they're going. They're going places. Yeah. You're gonna see them because there is no way they should not make these scene. The discipline, the endurance, the drive. Mm -hmm. Freshmen to senior, they all have the same motivation. That's good. And that's so great. So I'm excited about this upcoming season. So how would you say it's different between being a coordinator, well, being a, a coach versus being the captain? Um, well, for the coach, basically, I mean, for high school, it's kind of almost similar because you are giving them everything, but the captain basically does everything when you're not there. Right. So, um, our previous captain, she was big on coming up with stuff. She was big on making sure her team looked good. Like, she she was everything she needed to be as a captain. Co-captain, no doubt about it, just the same as um, the captain. Sometimes even come harder than the captain. Mm. You know, they, they had everything they needed. But me as a coach, I would just come in. I'm, I, this, they don't like when they show me stuff. Because when they show me stuff, I'd be like, hmm. Uh, <laughs> can, you, can, you, uh, can you do that part again? And they'd be like, oh, I knew you weren't going to like it. I'm like, I like it, but can you, you do this arm like every five seconds? Show me something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they know that I'm going to keep challenging them. I don't want to see the same little role that you do every every stand. Like, I want something different. Right. If you got to change your finger to point, then do it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they know what I expect and they know that I'm not settling for the same look and saying you do the same thing they know I'm not going for it right. so they know when they come they gotta come because they know I'm gonna say nah so what's some advice that you could give to the new generation of stingheads um from what I noticed and like what I would really really like to see I really want them to make sure they go back to the roots yeah and really try to keep it consistent like you know it's cool to make sure like you know you outshine you dance you put a little emphasis on something but sometimes it's, it's not it's not seen yet yeah you know what I'm saying? That's true. And, that, and that's kind of and it's even with any team i'm pretty sure all the old heads feel that same way like it's like we want to see what we left you know we of course we want you to evolve of course we want new stands of course we want just you know stuff to blow our minds but it's like what about you? Can I come dance with you and we look alike? Like how can how when we all join together, how are we not gonna look like? Eh, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like well, that's what I would want to see a lot more. Like I want to see them go back. Like I want to make sure the the baseline of Stingets is still there, and then we keep you know um, moving from there. But that's my only thing with them. I just want to see you know more. I always tell my team less is more. Yeah. D that's true. That's all I say. Less is more. So I'm not, I'm not less is more. Nah, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's yeah. definitely true. So what other, what other, instead of the thing is, what other teams do you watch? Um, in the ACC so world? my previous, like when I was on the team, I couldn't watch no other team because I was, thought I was being creative, but I done stole a whole nother routine from somebody else. Yeah. I made sure I watched nothing. Right. But now, I like I will watch the dolls. I'll watch Jackson. I'll watch Alcorn. I don't watch A and M because they're not rivals. But yeah. you know, can't watch them. Um, I'll watch. I watch A and T. I watch Tennessee State. I'll, my friends uh, they went to um, Albany State, so I'll watch them. Like yeah. you know, I just, I'm very open to a lot of things. So and I just like it. I like looking at all the styles. If I could just do an HBCU tour and just kind of. <laughs> Go learn everybody's stuff. That'd be great yeah. because I just think it's so cool. Like everybody come for something different. Like yeah. we can look, we can almost walk the same, but just because your hand is a little bit before and it, it's just different. Yeah, and I think it's so neat that each team has came up with their own thing and it, it's, it's tradition for them. Right, and we can all be in the same room and we all are totally different. Right, exactly. It's, it's beautiful. So, do you have anything to say to the fans? Um. You don't have no more questions for me? No, I don't. All right. Um, I just really appreciate y'all. Okay, well, yeah, I do appreciate y'all, like, being there for me. Um, those who really did support me and those who, you know, was giving me a chance to, to grow and be better. And I really appreciate you guys now still supporting me for all my endeavors that I'm going through. 
Um, I do want you guys to make sure you are giving the new girls and any other teams the support that they need. I'm glad that I see everything is changing. You know, we're not trying to be more negative. I'm glad that, you know, we're all trying to embrace everything that's going on. And I think that we just need to keep that same energy and don't let that fall because we really do watch, we do read, and we really just need y'all support sometimes because you are who we dance for. So. Right. I do have one more question. Yeah, what's up? I do have one more question, and they're going to kill me if I don't ask this question. What is it? Why did you tap out Toya? I don't know what you're doing. I mean, first off, Jasmine was just going off everything. I could just two-piece her and her back of her head because she was up there. And then Toya stood there. I mean, I couldn't stop dancing. I would look like I did But I right. kind of held my own through that whole thing. But after she sat down, I'm like, you got to go. And I told her, don't come back in these stands. And I just really wanted her to go home at that point. Because I said, that is embarrassing. She stood there. And it went to it. I just was like, I was in awe. And I'm glad that was like the second to last song. I'm like, she got to go. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. This was a great interview. This was. A, I told you not to be nervous. I got you. I'm sorry. I can't breathe. That's, oh my god. I'm going I got upset. you. I got you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my god. Is it there was anything? Like to you. It was nice talking to you too. This is exciting. Yes. Tell me again. Yes, but I'm gonna keep in touch with you. Okay. And I just want to say thank you one more time, Queen oh, wow. Sing, Queen Sing. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.